grilled pineapple is one of Mother Nature's simplest, tastiest treats. It caramelizes beautifully on the grill and stays so juicy. Whether you add an extra touch of sweet and flavor or keep it simple, you are going to love it. And I want to show you how to make it today on The Stay at Home Chef. Pineapple is one of the best fruits for grilling. It has a high sugar content and when put over high heat, the flavors are enhanced and the sugar caramelizes into something so delicious. To make grilled pineapple, we need a grill and we need a pineapple. There are a few variations to making grilled pineapple, but first let's preheat our grill to medium high heat. If you don't have a grill, that's okay. Another great option is to use the broil method in your oven. Back to the pineapple. You can cut up a pineapple a few ways, but I love the pineapple spears for grilled pineapple. And to cut them that way, take your pineapple and using a sharp knife, cut the top or some call it the crown off of the pineapple. Then slice the bottom off as well. This way it sits pretty sturdy. And then cut away the outer peel from top to bottom. Go along with the contour of the pineapple. Don't cut too deeply. The most outer part of the pineapple is the sweetest part, but you want to make sure there's no remaining exterior or eyes as some may call it. So grab a paring knife or tip of your knife and remove those. Here we have the remaining flesh of the pineapple and to get the spears, have the pineapple by cutting it in half right down the center. Then you're going to have those halves. Then that inner triangular piece is the core of the pineapple and it's very fibrous so we want to cut that out. Then have each of those sections to get eight spears. Now that we have our pineapple spears, we can grill them just as they are, which is simply delicious, or we can give them a little extra, which I'm all about the extra. To make a crowd favorite with an extra sweet coating, in a shallow dish combine a half a cup of brown sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon, and go ahead and mix those together. Then take the spear and press them into the brown sugar coating and place them onto a cookie sheet or a plate. For a spicy sweet coating, add into a bowl a half a cup of brown sugar and one to two teaspoons of cayenne pepper depending on the spice level that you prefer. Mix those together and then you're gonna coat the spears just the same way as the last. The pineapple's super juicy so that coating sticks to it with ease. Now we're gonna head over to our preheated grill. And before we place the pineapple on the grill, I like to simply take a napkin with a little bit of vegetable oil and quickly rub it on the grates. This will help the pineapple to not stick to the grate. Be careful when doing this. Then we place our uncoated or coated spears directly on the grate and let them brown for about two to three minutes per side. I'm wanting more browning and just a tiny touch of char. Everyone's grill is going to output heat differently, so watch that closely. These pineapple spears have the perfect browning and the sugars have caramelized and given that a little bit of a candy coating. Remove them from the heat and eat them warm as is, or you can use them in a few of our delicious recipes over on our website. Whatever you decide to do, you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out stayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.